everyone welcome to my channel today i am going to give a lecture on uh, the introduction portion of unit number 1 so these are the topics i am going to cover in this unit what motivated data mining what is data mining what kind of uh, data can be mined what kind of pattern can be mined classification of data mining systems data mining task primitives integration of data mining system major issues in data mining so these are the topics i am going to cover in unit number 1 now so in this lecture so i am going to focus on two topics starting topics what motivated data mining what is data mining these are the two topics i am going to focus in this lecture so first of all so what motivated data mining we'll see that that means so here we have to focus so what are the things which motivates to do the data mining so that that gives the origin point of view where we have to focus okay so first of all before going to start which things motivate the data mining we have to see this evolution of database technology so here uh, data warehousing it's it's not a uh, one time uh, technology suddenly developed or uh, suddenly evolved no, not like that it's a evolution that means from the starting of the origin is data collection and database creation this is the starting of the uh, data warehousing uh, era so whenever the data has started then that they, that is the origin point of view of uh, the data warehouse where that is the, the requirement for data warehousing that has started in the 1960 so initially we uh, uh, have started this data collection and as well as database creation the 1960s so lact later so they used to who use this dbms database management system like a, a query languages we have invented so next the technology era started in advancement of dbms okay so initially in the 1960 they used to store or store the data in the form of files okay later they came across the dbms and next advanced dbms so we can consider data warehouse and uh, data mining is one of the uh, advanced model of uh, dbms and from the 1980s to present we are uh, talking about all this uh, terminologies like uh, advanced data models and uh, data warehouse and olap so we'll talk about olap in the coming classes it's not a issue okay this is the evolution this diagram says so why the data warehouse what is the uh, starting point of the data warehouse so when our in the 1960 data collection has started then that 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 will be the starting point of the era now why data mining so initially uh, people used to store in the file uh, data in the files that's it they don't know what the use of that so okay fine now i am going to discuss why the data mining now see this you can find all these things uh, you you people know very well about all these things uh, www world wide web amazon flipkart sensors youtube uh, medical related uh, data etc all these things are what all these are the resources of uh, data production so where the data is continuously producing by these things like uh, internet online uh, shoppings uh, as well as the sensors continuously predict the data and uh, sense the data and next thing is cameras like that all these things are data resources where the data is going to be uh, uh, generated okay now what is the use of the generated data they have to store the data okay of course that's the thing you, they have to do they have to store the data next what is the use of that uh, data we are going to see in the next uh, coming slide so these are the examples of data uh, generated 
from the resources so first thing is sales transaction stock trading records product description sales promotions company profiles customer feedback and so on every click what you're doing uh, giving on the uh, screen and as well as on the internet so that will be its generate uh, its data example see this so walmart is one one of the example so in the walmart uh, walmart it's a it's a big uh, company so under this company the people will uh, do their transaction like they will buy the product the what happened whenever they buy the, pro buy the product they they make the transaction right so similarly so how uh, 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 the particular transaction is going to be useful to the walmart so that gives the uh, uh, basic requirement for the data warehouse and data mining so here so these are the examples so remote sensing scientific experiments engineering observation all these are the examples where the data is generated yes so he, this is the worth of data mining whenever the huge data is generated from the last uh, uh, resources or last uh, in the last slide i told you that multiple resources are available these resources will generate tremendous of data continuously or discreetly okay so now what is the use of the data the data is huge now is there any use of the data yes obviously the that uh, the use of the data is to obtain the knowledge knowledge from that particular data is the main target in the data mining concept that with this particular thought gives the birth of the data mining yes the powerful and versatile tool are badly needed to automatically uncover the valuable information from the tremendous amount of data to transform such data into organized knowledge so this is uh, this statement gives whenever the data is uh, huge and as well as people uh, people are very curious to know what the data is talking about so that that particular thought gives the data mining subject birth okay so that is the motivation for data mining as i told you that whenever the data is incurred equal continuously generated so that motivates the data mining so in this present uh, trend 2020 you can see uh, any everywhere the data is going to be generated okay in every field you can say a computer gives a very important call important uh, uh, aspects from every field there's the one more uh, uh, thing you have to remember now second concept what is data mining now we will enter into the actual uh, thing or related to the data mining what is data mining so this is a, a brief uh, definitions or some keywords which is related to data mining which gives the uh, meaning of the data mining so extraction of interesting patterns or knowledge from the huge amount of data that is called data mining extraction of knowledge we have to obtain knowledge from the huge amount of data so that this knowledge is very helpful to to take the business decisions so this is the basic uh, line storyline of this data mining concept and next alternative names of the data mining is knowledge discovery in database kdd knowledge extraction data pattern analysis data archaeology data breeding information harvesting business intelligence of course there are a lot of uh, a lot number of names are there but out of all these things the data mining is a buzzword it's a it's a familiar word uh, which is well known by everyone so of course you can uh, you can call this uh, uh, this data mining here with this alternative names also now i will give you a simple picture about mining so have you heard about the gold mining gold mining or oh, the major objective in the gold mining is uh, people has to dig the rock dig the rock or land what it may be then they have to find the gold then we will generally call that as a gold mining but we won't call that as a rock mining okay so people dig the rock as well as they will find the gold for for for, for finding the gold for finding the gold they will dig the rock so we are calling gold mining here but what about data mining 
so we are digging data to obtain knowledge see the similarity here gold mining and data mining gold mining is the outcome is gold here but in the data mining outcome is data no it's a knowledge okay that is the reason you have to remember you have to understand this concept from the uh, depth okay in a in a broad way here see this so here digging data and find the knowledge but not knowledge mining it's not knowledge mining you cannot we are not calling knowledge mining of course it's did the same thing so we are going to mine the knowledge okay by digging the data so here this is the thing we are going to say uh, but we are not calling that as a knowledge mining okay this subject the reason here is the knowledge mining is a lengthy and as well as people it's a little bit difficult to remember knowledge mining of course the knowledge may be a different varieties see that is the reason so they are uh, they ignore this uh, knowledge mining and replace the term with data mining so but so here we are digging the data and finding the knowledge so if you compare or relate these things to the mining concept okay as the gold mine says so we are going to mine the uh, rock and as well as obtain the gold so here the data mining says up mine the data and obtain the knowledge very simple so here this is the situation of the world so because uh, the data is huge so people are very bus busy with the, uh, doing the transactions obviously the transaction resultant gives the data but the data is not in an organized way and without knowledge so this is the situation of the uh, present world world is rich at data but poor at knowledge now what we are helping the the world okay with respect to this context yes we are going to organize or searching knowledge in the data and finally we are going to obtain the knowledge from the data and the data is in the organized way whenever the data in organized way then only we can obtain the knowledge so so that is the thing we are going to do with the data mining uh, with the data we am going to we are going to mine the day knowledge from that particular data now how that is possible so this is the first step uh, in the data mining process so first thing is kdd process knowledge k for knowledge d for discovery another d for data knowledge discovery from data this is the first step we have to remember in this particular course this particular diagram says it's a, a diagram from the famous textbook so this particular diagram says the evolution here uh, the sequence of steps so first of all our data the generated data is available in the databases uh, consider any flipkart amazon or youtube or it may be they are having the company having their own databases now what what we are trying to do so we are going to mine the particular those particular databases so but can we directly mine on the database no that is not possible if you do that particular thing if you directly mine the data on the databases what it happen it will disturb the regular transactions that is a reason we are going to invent the data warehouse that means the the uh, the, the location the uh, the particular repository which is out of the institution that is the thing that is the organization out of the organization so we are we have to create one uh, a storage location okay now in the first step see this so databases are there flat files and databases so we are going to perform cleaning and integration steps so we'll see uh, in the next coming slide in the next lectures what actually cleaning and integration remember that as a process so after this process so we have to bring those particular outcomes to the data warehouse from the data warehouse this is the way data data warehouse in the second level from the data warehouse we have to do the selection and transformation that means uh, pick some piece of piece of data where we need to do the mining on that data later next do the mining here on the particular piece of data mine the data right and next obtain the pattern the pattern gives the knowledge so finally the raw data is going to be there at the database and the outcome is 
to the user here the user in the sense the data analyst or the company guy who are to know about data so this is the thing uh, this is the process of uh, knowledge discovery to obtain the knowledge from the raw data so these are the steps i summarize total seven step data cleaning to remove noise and inconsistent data next data integration where multiple data sources may be combined in one data selection where the relevant data to analysis task as retrieved from the database fourth one data transformation conversion from one to another next fifth one data mining so this is the heart of this uh, fifth step actually the data mining comes under to the part of this uh, this particular process but not to the complete so here next pattern evolution and finally knowledge representation so here so these are the seven steps which comes under kdd process so in, in coming lectures uh, we will take one by one uh, uh, one by one these topics like uh, to understand better this kdd process why because this is a very important uh, concept okay yes it's fine so we have completed two topics so one is uh, uh, introduction to data warehouse and next thing is kdd process so uh, we'll cover the remaining topics in the next lecture within a short period so meanwhile subscribe if you like that video share it to your friends and so that this this particular try will be helpful to the required people who are to learn the data warehouse concept okay thank you everyone thank you for your patience and listening thank you so much